Hello, Arnaud de la Flavia from Lyon here. In this video, I will talk about deep penetrating nevus or DPN. I will show you all the clues that you will need to focus on when you will be watching the video in the non-artificial intelligence in pathology program. We will be covering the variants of DPN with combined DPN, pure DPN, and plexiform DPN. Let's start with combined DPN, and here's a checklist for low power. There will be some illustration shortly after. You'll be looking for an area of common nevus. You'll be looking for a clonal area. And in that clonal area, there will often be a grid of melanophages. Here is a, in, here's an example of combined DPN from one of my previous videos with the nevus area, the clonal area, and the pigmented grid of melanophages. Another case with a common nevus the clonal area with many melanophages. For pure DPN, there will be no clonal area or common nevus. The whole lesion is of DPN subtype, and there's often uh, vertical expansions into the subcutis. You can also see the grid of melanophages. For the plexiform DPN, again, there is no clonal aspect. You only have a horizontal plexiform architecture and you still have the grid of melanophages. On medium power, you're only gonna focus on the plexiform architecture without deep maturation. So you have fascicles here, and you notice they're exactly the same from top to bottom. On high power, you will look at the cytology and the DPN is, can be made either of large cells with a wide foamy cytoplasm or spindle spizoid morphology. So you, there are different types of morphology. There is some degree of nuclear pleomorphism and only a few mitotic figures. Here's a typical aspect of the foamy type of melanocytes. Here again, more spindled, but still with a foamy cytoplasm. And here a more spindle spitz-like morphology. Here is the video link if you directly want to start looking at the rotation of DPN variant cases. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon for more content.